Hi there everyone. So I just want to show you a simple arrangement for hanging on your door. Um, over the past couple of weeks I have been demonstrating how to make spring summer wreaths. Um, we've also covered Valentine's Day, um, we've covered some Mother's Day ones and we have some Easter and St Patrick's Day ones still to cover. But we were just in Dunn stores the other day. So Dunn stores, just for anybody watching outside Ireland, it's a departmental store in here in Ireland. And we bought these little Wellington boots. So they're just children's Wellington boots. They obviously came in a set of two, on right left foot. And they were seven euros for the two of them. And what I've just done is I've shaped the, the floral foam. I've wet the foam first, shaped it, and just filled down inside the welly boot. And just at the back there, you may be able to see where, just using a puncher, I punched a little hole and just so I was able to catch a ribbon through it. So I put the ribbon through before I actually put the foam down into it. So flower-wise, this is just something, just using up little pieces or leftover flowers that you happen to have. So just in the school today, the students were using um, a stilby and I have just a stem of a stilby. I have a little bit of wax flower. I have cut some of the wax flower off already. So what I've just been doing is just cutting the wax flower into these short little sprigs. And I just have one single rose and just tiny, tiny little bits of greenery. Now when you're cutting up the astilbe, rather than cutting all the little side pieces off, sometimes I find that it's more economical to cut down in between the stems. So like cut the top off and then go down in between the stem again. So you're cutting the main branch. So that's the shape you're going to get and down into that. So again, you can see you get a couple of little sprigs. So it's tiny little sprigs of the astilbe, tiny little sprigs of the wax flower. And then as I said, I have one single rose and a little bit of foliage. So I'm just going to cut this rose quite short, cut on a sharp 45 degree angle. Just make sure that you keep the ribbon to the back of the welly, so the, the side that's looking at me is now going to be the front. So I'm just going to place this rose down into the centre. Um, this is one of the sweet avalanche, but to be honest, any rose, as I said, it's leftovers, and this is just a rose that's left over from our bridal class today. And then, as I said, some wax flower. So this wouldn't be a typical flower arrangement. You're just cutting up your short little pieces of wax flower and randomly around the rose, not following any particular pattern at all. And what I'm going to do is I'll just turn it around to you just so you can see what it's looking like so far. So I'm continuing on. I will add in a little bit more wax flare, but I just have a couple of little pieces of the astilbe. Now this is the astilbe that I cut up into the short little pieces. And you can see I'm not following any particular pattern. There's no numbers, there's no points. Um, if you're kind of short on flowers, you could just use mostly foliage if you wanted. I just thought this was so cute. And again, for somebody that um, maybe hadn't got a fresh flower, what about adding in an artificial flower? That would be absolutely perfect. Again, maybe you've watched me doing the other videos with the artificial daffodils. So I've just been adding in, as you can see, little bits of a stilby, little bits of wax flower, and now I have just some little bits of fern and little bits of silver Sussex. And to be honest, any foliage that you can forage out of your garden, as you can see, they're just tiny, tiny little sprigs. Just clean off the end so you have a nice clean stem. And really what we're looking for here is a little bit of coverage. No particular pattern. I hadn't got the foam coming up over the OA, over the well, which is what I meant to say. Sorry about the little squeak there with the turntable. Um, so I'm really just kind of like filling down into it and just watching that I'm kind of filling in my mechanics, if you want to call it, just maybe the edges of the boot, just where you can see the foam. Just think these are really cute. And there's lots of occasions that this could be, even be used for. What about somebody um, having a baby shower? and you knew it was going to be a baby girl, wouldn't this be a lovely idea to hang on the door? So our last little bit of this still being just stuck into the floral foam there, that one's been a little bit difficult. And there's our lovely little welly boot decorated with flowers. Now, wouldn't it be gorgeous if we had the second one done? Sure, there's one in the oven. So here's our second little welly boot, and I just have the ribbons, different lengths, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie them together. So I've just tied the two of them together, the two uh, ribbons. The one is obviously longer than the other, just so for the hanging on the door. And what I've just made now is a little double collar bow using the same sort of fabric ribbon. If you go to my blog, on, the, on our website, our website is flareschoolireland.com, you will be able to see live videos of me demonstrating all these bows. So it's a fabric bow, but I do have it tied together with a little bit of the florist ribbon, you know, the cheap waterproof ribbon. So I'm just using that and I'm just tying it around the knot so it helps to kind of camouflage the knot when it's hanging on the door. 
I'm going to just cut these strings a little bit shorter so my fingers. So the idea is that this will be able to hook around, maybe a hook on the door or the door knocker or the door knob. Um, so I'll just hold this up now and there you go. Oops, it is. It will not keep twisting around. Obviously, I'm going to just rest it against my chest there so you can see the effect. So there's a lovely spring, summer, or as I said, a baby shower, um, an alternative door wreath to hang on your door. I hope you enjoy that. And make sure you go to our website, flowerschoolireland.com, click on the online school, and you will be able to see lots more step-by-step -step tutorials. So as I'm here in the flower school today, I don't actually have an outside hall door to hang it on just to show, so I've just kind of used our presses here. So obviously in real life it won't be quite as high, but that's the idea that one welly boot is a, higher, a little bit higher than the other. Hopefully then you can just, you could always add an extension to that ribbon if you needed it, if you required it to be a little bit longer. But the idea is that you can just hook it over the door knocker or the handle on your door. And um, I just think they're really, really cute. Oops, it is something has fallen out of it. But I um, hope you enjoy that. Like with all our classes, we offer full backup support. So if anybody downloads any of the tutorials from our online school, we offer full backup support. And even to students who attend the school here, like our motto here at the school is once a student of K's, always a student of K's. So they were one of the only schools, I think, in Europe, which offer full backup support to all our students, whether it be with their wedding work, their funeral work, their flower arranging, their hotel or event. So you can always email me here at the school at info at flowerschoolireland.com. And thanks, Amelia, for watching.